Hi everyone, this is Steve with CineSamples, here with our highlight video for O, Forbes Pipe Organ, Utility Functions. This video will cover some more specific details of this beautiful pipe organ library, which give you enhanced functionality. In this video, we'll cover the mic position blend controls, room tone adjustment, sample start control, and MIDI routing functionality. Let's start with the mic mixing. We have three options, full, bright, and warm. The bright mix is a breathy, close position recorded near to the pipes, while the warm mix captures more of the sound of the hall. The full mix blends the two together with some light processing for cohesion. It is possible to load any or all of the mic positions as you see fit, when doing so, be advised that all loaded layers within sections will be affected by loading multiple positions, so keep an eye on your memory and voice count to find a comfortable resource load for your individual system. Let's take a listen to some examples of adjusting the mic mix controls. That's what it sounds like with the full mix. Let's keep this same loadout of layers and try it with the bright and warm mix together. It's very similar, but let's try adjusting the blend of the two and see how it changes. Using the mic mix adjustment is a great way to get more powerful results than you can with EQ because you're actually changing the level of the recorded mic positions. Moving on to the room tone control. We have this available as an on-off toggle and the level of the room tone is adjustable. The room where we recorded this organ is a remarkably well-built space specifically designed to manage noise. However, a common practice in organ writing is to have a pause in the composition so the organist can change the physical setup of the pipes as is called for. We can change presets in O much more quickly than on a physical organ as discussed in our presets highlight video. However, in situations that use this traditional composition technique, it might be jarring to fade all the way to silence before coming back. So to allow for realism and smoothness with this approach, we can use the room tone to bridge this gap. The room tone control is saved as part of a preset, so it is important to set levels to be consistent of the room tone among the key switches that you want to use. Here I have three presets assigned to key switches to demonstrate. As I change the key switches, the room tone remains active. So if I play a chord, pause, change the preset and play again, it will be a more natural playback. Here I have the room tone control turned up very high to demonstrate it for this video. I'm exaggerating a lot more than you probably want, would want to use in a normal situation, but it helps to demonstrate what this feature is all about. Next, let's take a look at the sample start fader. This is a way of getting a faster attack. Turn up the fader to start the sample playback closer to the sustain portion of the sample and turn the fader down to keep more of the attack. Any pipe organ has a natural, slight delay, and although the organ that we recorded is a very responsive instrument that does respond well for fast playback, there is the physical time that it takes for the air to travel through the pipes, which does take a certain amount of time. However, we gave you the option to control your sample start, whether you want to keep all of the attack, or have the sample start immediately. or find the right balance
depending on what combination of sections and layers you have loaded and what the tempo, rhythm, and passage of your composition actually calls for. Finally, let's discuss the MIDI routing functionality. This is a really cool feature that gives you independent compositional and arranging control for the swell, positive, great, pedal, and contra 32 sections. On a physical pipe organ, the multiple keyboards that are present each connect to different sets of pipes, and on an electric organ or an organ-style MIDI controller, there are usually multiple keyboards that connect to different MIDI outputs. It is a common practice to have separate tracks and separate MIDI channels controlling the different sections and the different pipe configurations. With O, we provide this functionality as a simple toggle switch option. All you need to do is set the tracks in your DAW to the respective MIDI channels, set the O patch in contact to the Omni MIDI channel, and turn on the MIDI routing switch. The MIDI channel assignments are channel 2 for swell, 3 for positive, 4 for great, 5 for pedal, and 6 for contra 32. Here I'm demonstrating how I have that set up in Logic. I have 5 tracks all connected to the same software instrument. This allows me to play each section independently. This allows me to compose and arrange parts for each section all within the same instance of contact and one loaded patch of the instrument. Let's hear how this line sounds orchestrated among the different sections. Simple little parts arranged for the different sections independently, triggering all the different layers for each section as they play through. Whether you're using this MIDI routing functionality to replicate the traditional composing and arranging technique, or if you're using it to explore the sound design potential with different section effects, this is an extremely powerful way to enhance your workflow. Try using this tool in conjunction with different effects on each of the sections to create a full, diverse array of sounds all within one instance of O. We are so excited to be able to provide this powerful pipe organ sample library for composers, sound designers, and music creators everywhere. Be sure to check out the other videos we have for O Forbes Pipe Organ and subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date with all the cool things we have in store. Thanks for watching.